Okay, hi everyone. Week nine, this is pretty full on actually. It's gone really quick. In the lead up to Christmas, things are gonna be going pretty quick. Assignments coming in, major assignments, um, quizzes finishing, our third assignment. First of all, I just wanted to say how good um, and how like interesting I found all of your opinions and your arguments in um, the second assignment, the reflective essay. I was really impressed and it was a really great way to kind of get to know you all as well and learn a bit, bit more about the way in which you see um, see how ideologies affect your value systems and your spheres of kind of understanding the way in which things work in regards to human services it was really interesting so thank you very much um i've been enjoying looking at them all um so far they're a really high standard and um it's been a real pleasure reading them um it's quite i thought, I thought it was quite a tricky essay there's lots of moving parts so um hats off to you all for doing such an effective job at kind of like really giving your best at that. So well done. So this week, um, week nine. So what I thought was really interesting on page 9.6 of the module is a really interesting reflective essay that I, reflective exercise that I think is really kind of critical when thinking about human services and about your role as say a, um, a social worker. So the, the reflection ex exercise states, Imagine that you are a social worker in a hospital and you have been assigned to a multidisciplinary task force of a surgeon, an anaesthetist and a psychiatrist to determine an appropriate rehabilitation plan for a patient. What is the likelihood that the social worker would be the head or lead of this meeting and project team and how do you justify or arrive at your own answer? So I thought I would leave that with you as I think it's a really interesting kind of thing to look at the way in which authority um, and uniform can kind of create um, power within certain social situations and the role that social workers or human services practitioners, um, the roles they kind of take and how um, is their role one of authority or is their role one of collaboration and compromise? So I kind of, kind of wanted to leave that with you because I do think it's quite, quite important. It's important to kind of think about the difference between, say, what a social worker does as opposed to what, like, say, a surgeon does or an anaesthetist does or what a um, psychiatrist does in terms for a patient or for a client. So I just wanted to keep that in mind. Um, I think it's an really interesting reflective activity and it'd be good to kind of give it some thought. Okay, well, I hope you all have a good week and um, I'll speak to you soon.